essentially do socks in two different ways. Three, if you count the fact that we often end up with socks that don't have a mate. That happened. Apparently children don't really focus on having mates for their socks often and they wear mixed match socks, but I digress. So what we wanna do when we have our socks is make sure our socks are flat. So we actually lay them out and we're either gonna be following instructions from the customer to fold their socks or roll their socks. If it's an instruction to fold, we lay them out flat together and then we simply fold them in half if it's a longer sock. When you have the shorter socks that may come out this size with, without folding them, we simply stack them together and then we package them. But make sure you're looking at pairs to get them in sets. So that's an example of a folded sock. Here's another example where we have an athletic sock we're going to place it together and then we simply fold it over and then we stack them. Now, if the customer requested their socks be rolled, what you're gonna do is take the bottom of the sock just below the top opening and then roll together. So we're not making a ball, we're still making it flat. I think it makes it a lot easier to package that way. So here's my semi-athletic sock again. I'm gonna take my toe, put it right to the top, and then I'm gonna fold it down. And that's an example of what we're gonna do when we do a rolled sock. Now we're gonna transition into folding underwear. The concept is pretty much the same when you're going from one type to the other. There are just some small differences that allow for packaging to be easier and then as well as storing the garment back into the drawer once the customer gets it home. So we're gonna start with a pair of ladies underwear. It's very, very simple. You're gonna pull the crotch to the waistband, fold over the right, then fold over the left. Simple you have a little package, or you can fold over the left and fold over the right, whatever your preference. Same concept, pull your crotch to your waistband, and this is your final product. Men underwear are the same in what you're doing in concept, but they actually have more variety in their, under, in their bottoms than we do. Um, but the concept is pretty much the same. You're gonna take the legs or take the bottom and fold it to your waistband. Not beyond the waistband, but up to your waistband. Oftentimes, because they are wider, they don't fit snug the way like a bikini would in the smaller items, you're gonna fold in your side to the middle, just so, and then do a final fold and you get to this final product. If they're small, like a little boy's underwear, you usually don't need both folds. You can fold it just like you're doing the ladies' underwear. This is a pair of boxers. Same concept. Pull your legs up to your waistband, but not beyond, because that's going to be your border. Always thinking about having that pretty presentation. You're going to pull each side in to the middle and then fold it once. And we have a nice package. <music>